Welcome to 91 Mobile News Bites. I'm Deeksha and in this show I tell you about everything interesting that happens in the world of technology every day. Let's begin. Let's start with a few leaks now. Xiaomi has sent out invites for an event scheduled for 27th of July and the Redmi Note 4 is expected to launch. Well, the invite itself doesn't give any clues as to what will be introduced at the event, but the Xiaomi Redmi Note 4 is highly anticipated. Along with that, the company is expected to launch a laptop which could be called the Mi Notebook. Now, this laptop is expected to be powered by an Intel Atom processor. It will be available in two variants as of now, which will be a 12.5 inch screen variant and a 13.3 inch screen variant. And the Mi Notebook is expected to look somewhat like the Apple MacBook. However, these are just leaks for now and we'll have to wait till 27th of July to know actually what the company launches. More leaks came up about the upcoming Apple iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. Basically, a video surfaced online today which suggested that the upcoming iPhones will sport redesigned antenna bands, will have larger camera modules and they might not have the 3.5mm jack after all. Along with that, the pricing was also leaked for the three models that are Apple iPhone 7, 7 Plus and 7 Pro. Now, all these phones will have three storage variants each that is 32 GB, 64 GB and 256 GB and the pricing for the Apple iPhone 7 will start at somewhat around Rs 53,000. For the Apple iPhone 7 Plus, the starting price could be around 61,000 while the 7 Pro could start at Rs 70,000. However, we can't confirm the authenticity of these leaks. Let's talk about a few acquisitions now. If you thought that the Chinese domination is limited to the world of smartphones only, you're mistaken. Opera, which is a company famous for its mobile and desktop browsing apps, has been taken over by Chinese consortium for a sum of $600 million. However, not the whole company has been taken over. Some part of the company remains with Opera itself. Along with that, a Japanese conglomerate called SoftBank is expected to take over ARM Holdings. Now, SoftBank is an internet and telecommunications company, while ARM Holdings manufactures processing chips for a variety of devices and its clients include big names like Samsung and Apple. In 2015, there were about 15 billion devices that were powered by ARM chips. A good news for Airtel users now, Airtel has announced that it has revised its prepaid data plans and the new data plans now offer value that is 67% more than the earlier plans. However, the tariffs still remain the same. So earlier, the 3G, 4G data pack worth Rs. 655 used to offer 3 GB of data. Now it offers 5 GB of data and the most expensive pack worth Rs. 989 used to offer 6.5 GB of data and now it offers 10 GB of 3G, 4G data. That's pretty much it for today. If you'd like to know more about everything we talked about, all the links to the blog posts are in the description box below. If you still have any queries left, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Make sure you subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. You can also follow us on Instagram and Twitter at 91mobiles to stay updated about everything technology. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching.